You know, when you're trying to strike turkeys up in the daytime, you're running and gunning, kind of seeing if you can get one going up in the day. Uh, if you notice, a lot of the turkey hunters, and uh, if you go to a store, and if you're, you look at the turkey calls, there's a lot of different turkey calls. You know, there's seven or eight, nine different diaphragms. Uh, there's four or five different box calls. There's four or five, six different slate calls. And there's a reason for that. Every call has their own pitch and their own frequency. And that's why you, you know, a serious turkey hunter's best. He looks like a walking sporting goods store, you know, turkey calls. Now, there's and there's a reason why you have more than one call with you. And that's because sometimes they'll respond to one thing, they won't respond to another. That's why when I stop and, and try to locate, I will usually locate with my box call first because it's the loudest call. And I'll try to locate with my box call. If I don't hear a gobble, you know, instead of going off and running through the woods, a lot of times I'll, I'll just stay still for, say, three or four minutes, and then I'll get my slate call out because it's a real high-pitched you know, sound. And I'll, and I'll, you notice, I'll raise it up, and I'll get that sound to shoot off. Instead of holding it way down here to the ground, I'll hold it straight out like this. And then I'll, I'll, I'll get that sound going off through these, these hollers and fields. If that don't work, I usually go to my mouth call, you know, two or three minutes later. So each place I stop, I try to give at least three calls, diaphragm, box call, and a mouth call. It's for the simple reason, sometimes they'll gobble. I've seen this happen. You'll hit a box call, they won't do nothing. You'll hit a diaphragm, they won't do nothing. But you hit a slate call, and they'll gobble right in the same spot. It's just a different frequency or high pitch that makes them gobble. I don't understand it. Don't try to understand it. It's just I just know it's, it works. So, but that's just a quick tip. If you're if you're running through the woods with one call and you just got maybe one or two calls in your vest, uh, you may, you might be shortening yourself. You try to buy at least different mouth calls. You know, buy different mouth calls. Try them out before the season that's starts. The why that we have a lot of calls in our vest? That's because frequency makes gobblers gobble. They're just different frequencies that the call makes. So, so try that. Get you some more calls if you if you're just limited to just a few calls. Get you some more calls, and when you go locate them, just stay in one spot, stay about five minutes, run through three calls, three different calls, because what what a lot of times that gobbler thinks there's a flock there. Maybe there's more than one hen. A lot of times I get that gobbler, maybe the gobble that wasn't a gobble at your box call, slate call, or mouth call. He may gobble at one of them calls, not gobble at the other two.